hello guys today i'm going to show you how to design this amazing assessment system okay this is school assessment system which means that you can assess your student during vacation weekends and even holidays okay good student can register and partake in the exams you can add unlimited as uh, that is questions now first of all let me take you to the platform first i will log in as a student so let me come here i already have an account if you don't have an account you can just create your account here you can even add your picture right now i already have an account here i will log in so uh let me enter my login that is username and password let me click login okay so as you can see i am on my dashboard here you can see dashboard here and over here we have i've added only two questions here okay so as you can see we have mathematics test one okay good and that is i can click here and register in the exams okay i have an account on the platform but i have to register in that particular test okay good and that is this for upcoming exams we can look at uh, ongoing exams with this you will you'll be able to see ongoing exams if you have already registered at exams then you can just go ahead and answer the questions right now the on this are ongoing exam but i have already uh answered the questions i'm done with answering of the questions i can check my results here by clicking here and as you can see this is these are my scores uh total questions just two questions and um questions attempted is two and correct answer two incorrect answer is zero maximum marks two you can see or and the percentage is a hundred percent okay and you can see the details here okay these are the questions so the student can even go through the questions he'll be able to read through the questions see where he went wrong and everything you see these are the questions and answers okay good so that is cool okay you can even look at the past exams okay we don't have any past exams this exam is still ongoing which means that you can fix a day a time frame okay within where student can go there and, and write their exams at any time okay so for instance you can make it you can just make it in minutes so you can make it let's say um 24 hours let's you can give them five days okay but you have to convert the five days uh to a minute so that uh, do, uh some of the students will even get enough time to participate in the exams it depends on you how you want to go about it or you can give them a fixed time maybe sunday this time so apart from that ta particular time if a student go uh after that he won't be able to participate or write the exams that is cool so i'm going to show you how to design this amazing website if you're ready to follow along now let's start out. by the way my name is Emma Penis. i'm the founder of a reader the guitars and crowd who's gonna crowd who's gonna is all about uh web hosting we, we deal with web hosting okay we have the cheapest and the fastest and the highest web hosting server which can help you to manage unlimited website when you go to wordpress for instance we have wordpress hosting which means you can host your wordpress here we start from 200 ganesis to 300 ganesis and with that packages you can add unlimited website we even have a reseller okay if you want to participate in the reseller business which you can where that means you can say um do a uh, web hosting in a domain name and make money online and that is also another way of making profits thank you uh let's move on to today business that is how to create this amazing website okay so let me close this tab and before you can create a website you need two most important and that's domain and hosting okay you need that in order to design a professional website as you know that before you can build a website uh, before you can build a house you need a prod okay and the location okay yes you need address and also the prod to build your house that's all about the domain hosting we need a server where we can build the website on okay and we need address so that we'll be able to direct people to our website and that is you can get some from us just go to crowdhost ghana the link is below this video uh come here select the package that you want we have the share hosting in fact we have the cheapest 
with the share hosting uh it start from 100 ghana cities for the whole year okay 100 ghana cities uh 120 ghana c you'll be able to add two tome and a three um that is 150 ghana cities that's three to me or let's say three websites okay but you can also add uh what you call it uh that is subdomain as well okay yeah you have you can add subdomain i will recommend wordpress hosting because with this package you can add up to about 100 websites i already have an account here so i will go straight and log in okay okay as you can see i've done that already so this is my dashboard and as oh, you can see that i have three packages here okay right now i'm going to log in with this one um so i have i've created the website the sample site on this domain and this tutorial i'm going to create i've created a subdomain which i'll be designing this tutorial on that okay so let's come back here and i can click login to cpanel okay so here i'm here i'll locate wordpress okay so this is wordpress and right now i will click install good so here i will first remove wp okay from there and i will select the domain that i want to install the wordpress on right now i will locate assessment dot best brain center dot online okay so i've created a subdomain for this main domain which i'm going to uh subdomain is free those who don't know about subdomain is free okay you can create it with our packages you can create a free subdomain which means that you don't have to buy a domain okay good and so here i will just enter my username and it's very, very important make sure you keep that name because that's what you are going to use to log into your website okay and this is a domain if i want to maintain this domain uh sorry email account okay so let's say i will remove the assessment so that it will be admin at basebraincenter.online okay or i can make it info at basebraincenter.online but i've not created it, uh, the email account yet okay good if you want to install any of these plugins that is good i will recommend uh this one uh that is a um, lights yeah good that's the page speed okay this is very, very important plugin you can install it okay good and after that the password uh, is just password so i will just um generate new one let me hide it and regenerate it again uh good yes, that is for security reason okay so i will click install and within some minutes uh wordpress will install on the domain okay so right now this is what i'm going to do uh, first let me close this because we don't need it anymore and you see we have to i have to link here the first one when i click on it it will take me to the the front end of the uh of our new website okay so this is the new inter this is the interface that's the first installation of wordpress and we have the second one if i click on this one uh, i will log into the dashboard okay good and this is my wordpress dashboard but if for some reason uh you don't want to use this uh, uh login details or you don't want to pass through the c panel then you can use uh you can just enter your domain name slash wp dash admin okay when you end when you enter this and you click login it will take you to the login page because i've done that that's why just taking me to the dashboard and that is cool okay so right now i will remove this from here and also uh, so i will just maintain the dashboard and this is a sample site good okay so now we are done with the installation of wordpress the next steps is we are going to look at cleaning of wordpress dashboard which is very very important as you can see uh, it's not looking good at all so let's just do that okay so first i will remove this i will go to screen option and i will uncheck all these from here okay good after that we have to go to post uh there's some post okay so this post actually came with the installation of wordpress so we need to delete it okay go to trash and empty the trash now let's go to the pages too uh when we go let's go to all pages 
over there too we have some pages that came with the installation and we need to delete it after that we will create a new one so let's go to trash and empty the trash okay let's see if we have a comment to delete there's nothing here let's go to plugins okay so the plugins you see during the installation of wordpress uh that is i added a certain plugin and this is the these are the two plugins we need them so i will rather check this and that and go to delete so this one leave it and delete it okay good but for now i will advise you to deactivate these two plugins you can only activate it when um let's say you are ready to publish your website okay or you want to make your website accessible for users okay but for now we are now going to edit the website if we leave this one active it will it will not help us it will it will make our work difficult so let's move on okay now let's go to uh, let's go to set ca and here you first let's add pages okay and okay so let's go to settings so settings here let's go to panel links and over here you see day and name has been selected which we don't want that so uh, for for seo i would advise you to go for post name that's the best okay so let's go for post name select that and publish it okay so clicking of wordpress that is what is done now you are going to install wordpress okay and so let's move on to we are going to sorry we are going to install plugins and themes so what are plugins and what are themes okay so the plugins add a certain functions to a website okay for instance i have this uh for instance the crowd who's gonna perform for instance you see you can just come here buy domain hosting and pay with a credit card or mobile money okay that's the function of a plugin okay good so any new feature that you want to add on your website you need a plugin to perform that function that's all about plugin and the theme take the theme it gives you the structure of the website okay good so any type of website has its own recommended theme okay good so let's come back here right now let's go to themes here you see appearance themes and over here this is the active one if i decide to click here and open it in a new tab this is what we will see now let me change it for this one or let me go for this one 2022 i have activated this okay good now let's come back here and let me refresh the page you see now the interface has changed that's the work of a theme right now we are not going to use any of this i'm going to install a new one called astra team okay so just go to add new let me take you back so when you go to first you locate appearance then you go to themes you click here add new theme and we are here so here you see the astra team if you can see that just enter astra okay and it will pop up let's see okay so you see we have it here so just enter the name as right in here and you see it here. just click on that to install and after that activate it okay good now they want us to activate this ai uh, i'm not going to do that for now let me remove that i'll later i'll make video on that now we don't need all these uh unwanted themes here we need to delete it because we're not going to use them and we don't have to leave it if you leave it uh it's not good for you it will be good for you one to make the website very heavy and two is also not the best practice when it comes to security so let me first delete them okay so uh, now we are done with the installation of the theme now let's look at plugin now before we 
get into that let's go to just let me first look at the dashboard here and you see we have plugins so just put a mouse on it you see add new click add new so we are going to use the most popular and in fact the best plugin page builder called elementor so just enter elementor here okay and okay so this is the plugin that i'm talking about i'll click on that to install okay i think for some reason it did not install so first let me refresh the page so that i can do it so that i can do that again so click on that okay so it's successful let me click at activate okay good and we are here as i said just leave these plugins for now we are not going to activate it okay now we need another plugin and that is going to do the work for us i'm talking about uh the assessment it will help us to add all the functionalities of adding questions assessing student and let me show you where you can get that plugin uh let me first open a different uh, browser that i want to use okay okay so uh right now let's come back here and go to a radar community okay this is sorry radar community okay so this is the link radar community.com okay just go to this platform and i'm going to show you you're going to get a resource that we are going to use to design a website and to also get a link to go to the platform that's very simple okay good and i hope you can see it is the uh that is the post on that website okay assessment center now i'll first go here login and i will enter my email if you don't have an account you can just go ahead and create an account here okay good i have an account this is our platform uh we have a lot of resources don't worry i will take you there so let me go to login okay so i'm here good so first i will go to um shop i've uh, i've logged in as admin that's why you can see the two bar here okay good so let's go to sorry uh shop okay so here i will locate this one online exams management resource blah, 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 blah. so let me click on that okay so over here first we have buy the plugin in fact the plugin is not for free it's not a free plugin okay but you pay small amount of money don't worry it's not that expensive okay good so first i will first i will download the materials and also buy the plugin i will show you how to go about it okay good so right now i will just click here add okay so then i'll then go here i'll rather open it in a new tab because i want to get access to this one okay so in here i can just proceed check out on my picture okay so okay so it's free it's just the resources i'm just i want to download the resources that which we are going to use to design the website it also contains the template that is wordpress template which if you want to import it for free you can just import it meaning you won't do any hard work here okay good so i have done that and i can just go ahead and download it okay if for some reason you were not able to do that let me show you where you can get it okay you can even come here go to if for, let's say for some reason you were not able to get to this place though you have already um uh you have already registered for that but you you were not able to get access to the download uh part of there so you can just come here in case you're on the front end here just locate profile go to profile here and under profile you see shop here click on that and when you go down here you see the plug let me see 
uh, okay so here you can go to downloads okay so you see all the plugins that and this is the new plugin we just uh, added okay so i'll click on that to download as you can see it's ongoing so i can just click here to download the plugin it's done okay it's done good now let me close that let's come back here and here we need to buy the plugin okay what we have downloaded is the resources okay so i'm going to show you where to get a plugin so just click on the link it will take you to this platform okay good and go down here in fact this is a uh, is the same person uh who wrote the school management system that i made a video on that on youtube okay i'm talking about the school management system those who have been following my videos and uh, later after this tutorial i will make a school management i will combine these two plugins that is the school management system and this online um assessment to make one website whereby it will look like um university portal whereby students can go there write online exams something of that sort okay so i'm going to make something complex here after this video so if you really if you are in fact if you are looking forward to watch this video or, or, or if you're interested just leave a comment here on youtube and um i will work on that very soon and i'm planning to do that good so let's go down here let's go to plugins and let's select the premium plugins here and you see exams that is online exams it's just 20 dollars not that expensive those in ghana let's say dollars to see this so uh 20 dollars we are talking about 313 ghana cities so with this 313 ghana cities you can make a lot of money out of that imagine if you create something like this for a school you can charge them let's say in fact you do not charge them all that much let's say it's just uh 2000 okay and you are going to spend just uh 300 ghana cities to buy the plugin which means that you will get about 1700 it's not bad at all so it's quite not expensive it's very nice okay so just go ahead and click that okay yeah you can just go ahead and you see we have one lances a single lances 20 dollars but if you want to use it for about five websites so if you're a web designer and you think you'll be getting a lot of uh customers uh will be requesting for such a website then you can go for the five website lances so that you'll be able to use it for five uh, people or five websites okay good so you can just select that enter your uh, your details but for this one you need a credit card something like mastercard or visa card in order to make a payment is very cool and i already have the plugin so i'm not i will not go through the process of paying for that but let me show i'm going to log in after payment uh you can log in here so you see this is my dashboard and over here um let me go to plugins premium plugins here and you see i have it here i can click on that and it will download okay good i have the lances is here but i will not open it that is private so let's have okay it's done so now let me go to my dashboard i will leave this this and go to the here that's where we are designed the site so right now i'll go to add new i will locate plugins add new plugin okay go to upload now select so i'll go here and and let me go here so this is a plugin i can just select a plugin then go that then install okay so you see it's successful so i have to activate it okay good so this is the plugin for some reason if you're able to get a plugin without buying it there's no way you can use it because let me show you something 
I can click on the plugin here and you see I need a Lancis key. Okay, good. And there's no way I'll be able to use the plugin without the Lancis key. Okay, so let me show you how I can use the Lancis key to activate it. I'm sorry that I will not hide, I will hide that part because um, I cannot uh, show you the lances if you need a plugin just pay $20 it's not that much to get access to there okay so I will come back here and in fact uh, I will go to lances and I will see the lances here uh, definitely you won't be able to see it I will copy the lances straight away from here okay so let me leave here and go back to my screen and I will paste the lances here and activate okay good now it says thank you uh, i think the plugin is now active okay 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 i think uh, because i've already uh installed the, uh, the lances on my this platform uh, before I can use it here, I need to deactivate it. Uh, that's why it, now you can see that it says you have already reached limit of activation. And that is one allowed. Okay, so which means that uh, I will pause the video and go to another platform and de deactivate the plugin. And before I will come back here and continue from here. Okay, so guys, this is what we are going to do. Since... Um, the lances that I have is that is one lances, which means that I can use it on two different websites. Okay, and so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how I I design this website. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through the steps of making the website. After that, then I will take you to uh, that is this platform, so that I will show you how you can add questions, how you can use the plugin. Okay, I'm talking about the online one. So for now. Let's come back here. So I'm not going to activate it for now because it will not allow me. So let's go back to the dashboard right now. Uh, let me go to plugin uh, pages and let's see. We don't have pages now. So we are going to create page. How many? Let me check pages that we have here. We have home page, online, online exams and exams results and registration. So we have our create a pages here. Or uh, let's look at, uh, I can also show you, let's come back to the, uh, the tools, uh, or the, uh, material that we downloaded from the community. Okay. This, this is the material and this is the plugin. So I'm going to show you how to use the material. Let me create a folder here because I want to unzip it. So I'll pick the material and put it here. Okay. So I'll open that and extract here. Okay, good. So you see, I have all the images and everything here. I also have the Elementor kit, and I'm going to show you how you can import this so that it will make your work very easy. So I'm going to show you how to import it. So let's come go down. Let me remove that. I will not add a page. Let's go back here and let's go to Elementor. Yeah. So let's go to Elementor. And here, first, let's go to settings. Okay, let me come back here and go to settings. Okay, so uh, now let's let me locate not here. Okay, we are. Let's go to settings. We are to let's go to settings. Okay. Um, let me show you something. Futures, not here. Performance. Okay, advanced. So here, this one under advanced. Yeah, here, here. Make sure you enable this one. So make sure you enable this. Then you save it. Okay, good. So I've done that. Now what else? We are done. So let's go to tools. After that, I go to tools and let's go to import and export. Now we are, we are going for import. So we are going to import the, uh, elemental kit. So let's go here, import. And let me go to the folder where I have 
that okay and i can just select that and click open continue and let's wait okay you see so it will install all these plugins for us and it says that elementor is already installed so we don't need that let me remove the picture from here and let me remove that and we have next year to click okay so we can go ahead and click import okay so it's it says successful now it's now live so i can just click here to close that good so i can open this in a new tab okay and this is our website we have import this and it's looking amazing if you want to you see it's the difference is that uh here we have a different color here so you can it's a matter of you changing the colors you can just change the colors okay it's very simple just change the colors i'm going to show you how to go about it so let's go to the front end here okay so i think i'm not getting access to the two bar so let's do it in this way okay so slash let me go to dashboard and this is the result of that let's go to plugins okay so we have admin hide admin to bar a hard admin bar there is causing that let me go to settings and see if i can disable it uh, okay all has been selected we don't want all we want to hide only subscribers and okay contributors uh, author and we have editors okay and save that so after that we will be able to get access to it i hope you can see that good and now we can just go to we want to edit this part and we need this color so i can just go to edit with elementor okay so i can just remove this sorry okay good let me drag this one down here good and i want to cancel that so over here if you want to add your own picture okay just click here add your own images go to star and you can just click here to add your maybe you prefer adding your own student instead of this online pictures and here too uh you can also do the same if you want to change this color you can just go ahead and do that let's go here and you can just change the color from here okay good and upload if you want to change the picture it's the same thing click on that and change the picture but i would advise you make sure you edit the pictures and make sure uh, that you make sure that the size are the same because let me show you what i'm talking about when i click here uh let's wait okay when you look at this picture is uh that is 500 by uh, 550 pixels okay the same thing apply to all the pictures okay good the size are the same so make sure you have the same the image with the same sizes okay that will help you to uh do it nicely okay and this is the footer so this is cool just go ahead and edit this okay so first of all if right now the interface here is okay if you want to change this click that and add your own uh keyword here let me remove that okay so here is blue color if you want to change that go to customize and you can just go to menus okay now here let me go back let me go to header sorry sorry i've selected a different one okay so that is header builder here and i can click on the menu just click on that and you click on that then you go to let me click on it again then you go to design okay so with this uh we can make it let's see uh we can make it black okay this black color is okay if you want to, to if you want to change the hover color you can just do that let's say i want to use that color okay good 
and if i want to use this one for well, or i can copy this and use it for this one too okay so let me publish that let's come back here and refresh the page now you see it's now okay everything is looking but you see here is not where arranged okay yeah it's not where arranged so we can do that uh, i'm surprised that okay we have not added a plugin but it's working here okay because the code you see i've already added the code i will show you what i'm talking about maybe you don't know what i'm talking about so i will show you so you see the home page is here we don't want that so let's come back here uh, let me leave here and go to the back end so i'll go to the dashboard here go down here go to uh, appearance menus and here i can just rearrange this one okay so this okay the arrangement is okay so i have to select that and also select this okay the two of them and after that i can click save okay so after that let me click on the logo you see it's now where arranged and but there's one thing let me see if the home page is working okay uh okay still everything is okay good so i don't have to explain that what else now let me show you how i was able to add the pages and the code you see uh because i'm working on the dashboard that's why that times you may see this don't worry it will not appear on the live one okay yeah so let's come back here now after adding if you if now we let's look at how i was able to add the pages and the code this plugin comes with a uh, let me go to here you see yet you see when you put a mouse on it you'll be able to get access to the full plugin because of this okay uh now let me take you to it has a code okay i will show you when i take you to the new one but let's go to the page let's go to pages and now let's go to exams results here let me click edit now when you come here you see we have online dash exams dash results okay we have the this is the code that will help you to do uh, that's will display the results uh interface okay good so you just have to create a page you enter the page title then you paste the code i can just remove the code from here i can just delete that okay so once you have the code you can just paste the code here and you'll get the code on it is part of the plugin settings as i said i will show you when i take you to the the main website platform talking about this one the best brain center dot online okay not this one because i'm i i want to show you how i was able to so just publish it and you are good to go uh that's is it applied to all the remaining pages apart from the home page because the home page you have to design everything from scratch okay good but the page that contain the plugin uh code okay short code is restriction online exams and then uh, we have exams results these are the two three pages that need the code okay good so far so good now you have the and this if you want to change this you can just change by adding the logo okay so if i want to add the logo just go to customize then go to header and you see we have logo here click on that okay and after that you'll be able to add the logo you can click here then you locate the logo i don't have it here so let me get it from here you can just add the logo let me remove my image for the video uh let me see uh i can just select the part that i want or uh, i can decide to make it skip cropping though it's too big but you can just control the size here okay so i can publish that and just reduce the size okay so this is a sample one 
So let me bring this one here and go to the dashboard. You see, it's now okay. But we have to remove this. So I can just go down here and uncheck that and publish it so that it will uh, get rid of this one. Oh, why? Okay, okay, let me check. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. In order to get rid of that, we can do it in this way. This is for Astra Team. Uh, just remove that. So I've make it, uh, have removed the visibility of this, of showing the title, uh, on both desktop, tablet, and mobile. So let me publish that and come here and refresh it again. So you see, it's gone. So for uh, this theme, you have to uncheck the visibility of uh, the logo type, logo and the title. Okay, that is good. So just do that and you are good to go. I think we have added the logo and there's nothing to do again. Now let's go back here. Okay, so far so good. Now you, you have, I think you don't have problem with how to design it. Uh, if you want to get rid of these colors when it comes to you see we have blue color here and even when you go to the essence to you see that we have blue colors or let's say results you see the blue color here so let me show you how to do that let's go to customize and under customize here we will locate uh let me check colors okay so let's locate colors let me see okay so let's go to global then colors so we need to change these colors so uh, let me go down here and let me see if i still have the oh come on okay so i can change i can change the color here let me click here okay good so that's the color after changing it you see that good I can also click here and do the same. Oh, let me copy that. And come back here and paste this. Okay, so you see after adding that, then you will not see that colors. Uh, let me refresh the page again and let's go to registration you see the button everything has changed results you see it has changed okay good so we are done if you want to change the footer to you see the footer here we have copyright blah 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 so let's do that let me go to back here and let me go back again and here you will see footer Okay, so we have header here, so footer. And in here, we can just select on the copyright. I can decide to delete all these from here. And powered by, so that it will be rather designed. Sorry, designed by radar digitals okay so then i will publish that if you need a professional website for your business uh just look uh come to reader digital okay we will create an amazing website for you this is our official website reader.com okay so come to our official website uh yes and you can learn more about us what we do best okay good so let's proceed now i'm done with that so let me cancel that okay so so far so good we are done with the designing of the website okay and i hope you can see that we still have if you want if you want to change the name you see my blog my wordpress blah blah blah, blah. if you want to change that come to settings go to general and here you can change the name 
let's say assessment center okay then here can be a short description about what this platform is all about so you just have to write something blah 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 blah, blah. okay good and then you come here and save that so from that after that you will see that assess you rather see assessment center so we are done now you know how i was able to create this website there is a sample one and this is the uh the one we are working on so that is now you know how i was able to design this website right okay good so i'm going to take you to the platform this platform that's where i have installed the plugin so i will show you how you can add your questions and everything okay so let's move on so right now i will uh uncheck this because we are done with that let me remove that okay but i will continue from here and i will remove this too but we need this this is the sample one and that's where we are going to look at the settings of the plugin now let's come back here and go to login okay so this is my let's go to this is my package here i normally log in through the cpanel the reason is that i don't keep password i've been managing a lot of websites in fact uh, <laughs> it's uncountable and keeping password of all those websites won't be easy for me and so this is what i do i always go through the cpanel just to log in because anytime i want to uh, install wordpress I generated a random uh, password which means that I don't know the password uh, in terms of that's for security reason that's the reason why I've been doing that it's the best practice you can also do the same so I will log into the C panel here okay then I will go to WordPress and I will locate uh, this one that is the best brain center okay so now i'm at the dashboard let me why okay let me log, log out first i think uh yeah i have to do that okay good and uh, let me do that once again i know the reason uh, yeah because I, that is uh, as a student now i'm now at me here so let me proceed okay so let me move this one. Oh, oh sorry let me move this to this side okay so this is a plugin so after okay so i have to activate it the plugin again i hope it will not request for oh i have to enter the lances key again okay so let me pause the video and do that okay so you see after accessory uh activated a plugin so after doing that now let me click on that again you see that now i have access to all these settings okay i can go to settings here and i'll be able to see general settings uh online exams photo capture if you want to enable that you can do that so that before the student will start the exams it will capture the font or the device that the student is using it will capture their face first before they can uh, take the exams okay that's how it works or you can disable it so that it will not if you want to charge students for uh writing the exams here you can also do that but uh, the one thing is that, uh, is that the only payment uh that is uh the pay the only payment gateway that we people in africa have been using is paystack and flutter wave and it is not in this plugin okay you can use it so that's the only problem but those who are using the stripe can uh, charge their student for taking part or writing exams on this platform let me take you here payments and you can see that uh, let me see payment method and you can see that we have stripe and uh, this is the india payment gateway we don't have pay stack here that's the only problem but you don't have to charge your student for writing exams do you have to do that okay so let's go to the so you see over here uh you have to create a page let's go to a short page short 
code here first you have to create a page okay and that is the exams online exam that's why here i have online exams that's the name of the page then you add this code okay okay after adding the page title below it then you add this code simple as that then the next one uh, you create another page and you can name it uh, that is exams results then you add this code another page then you add registration page then you add this code or you can just copy from here then you add the code simple as that 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 will give you the pages uh all the pages here that i have okay these pages okay and that is good now let's move on to the dashboard now let's look at how to add exams so let's go to exams here let's say i don't have any exams right now i can delete everything from here let me click here and delete that and i can go to student i also have students so i can go to students okay once i've deleted the plugin i don't have students so let okay so let's go to uh, exams and in here i can click add new exams you can give it a title okay let's say it can be um what name do you want to give it to your exams okay it can be entrance exams so let's see it's entrance exams exams code ee 100 exam center i'm going to write the exams at my school that is a gross matters jhs okay that's the name there where they'll be writing the exam center okay this is online i don't know why they are they have added that but i'd rather make it online okay online because uh yeah 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 they are, they'll be writing the exams on exams date and time so here we can just click here then we can select exams date and time let's say i want them to write the exams on 20th and then the time you can set time okay it may be around 11 uh 12 o'clock okay yeah you can just make it 12 o'clock okay or 12 that okay so you have added the exam date and time okay good and exams duration okay this is very important this is not about the time they will be spending on the exam there's something that you have to be careful about that okay if you make this one let's say 30 minutes in in minute if you make it 30 minutes which means that if a student has already registered in that exams and he did not i mean open the platform within this time or let's say if the person is uh, for some reason the, the student were not able to go to the platform to write the exams so which means that after so this they will start at 11 that is 12 51 right so after one something they won't be able to write the exams okay it will be too late for them so the advice if you're dealing with student it depends that depends on the kind of student you are dealing with if you're dealing with a uh, university student then you can just fix time it's 12 to 51 that's it okay and if they are going to spend about one hour you can just enter 60 minutes just 60 okay if they do not start on time it will go against them so if the person decide to come around let's say one o'clock it means that the person will spend less than 60 minutes to complete the remaining question but i'm dealing with basic students for some reason some student may not be uh, I mean uh, open the platform on time so i just want to give it give the student enough time so that those who those students who will be late for some reason will still be able to write exams so you can just go here i can just because we are dealing with kids days two minutes so you can just check for days two minutes so five days so you can give them a time frame that they have three days to come to write the exams so then i will copy that come here then i will add it so which means that they have they are working within number of this number of so others will be able to start on time others may not okay and it's, it's so that's good that's how i see the whole thing passing percentage
passive percentage you can make it 80 that depends on you and then row number prefix uh, registration row number i will make it r and row number base number let me make it zero row number index uh, i will just leave everything exams explanation link maybe you want to write explanation about the exams the details about what the student need to know okay you have to i will advise you to do it in this way you rather have to uh, create a post okay or create a post page also you can just go to your dashboard go to post or create another page okay and then you can just add name the page as uh explanation okay something of like that or exams let me just make it something like that. examination examination info just create any page name it the way you want publish that go to the dashboard here then locate uh, let's go to settings reading then you can make that page uh, examination okay okay you see i've done that okay so you can just make that page a post page then you save that okay after that you can just go to post add new post so you can just entrance exams info just name it the way you want maybe you want student to get more information about the entrance exams then after that you can just add your details paragraph so i'm not asking you to use dummy test just to oh come on let me copy that again okay so i'll just come here and paste that okay good so this let's say this is the information about the exam that they are going to write i'll publish that and i will copy the link from here copy the link go back here and paste the exams link here so i think i'm done with everything you can even add other shots any instructions here okay good but this one will contain the details of the exams the explanation everything that you need you want the student to understand before writing the exams and here it says show the question uh show the subject of questions and then random question the random question is the best okay which means that um number one uh the the question number will be random okay yes if if i'm starting right now my number one if another student is also writing the same exams his number one will not be the same as mine i hope you understand that's the random way active exams okay you can make it active fees if you want to charge them show exam results for yes after writing the exam the student should be able to see the exams results for okay so after that just go ahead oh, let me see okay so i think uh -huh. after that just come here and add the exams okay good it's successful now if i go to exams right now i've added exams okay good and i have to add the questions now i have to come here and i'm now going to add the questions okay the first one was right adding the exams now i have to add the questions so the first question is What is the uh, uh let's see correct zero point zero 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 point zero okay zero point five seven eight two two let's say to let me change that okay let me remove that zero two 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 decimal place okay to two decimal place here's my math question and after that uh, the subjects is mathematics and if it is mathematics then you select you so i'll show you where to add the subjects okay 
then we have the question objective single choice or uh, multiple or subjective and then max on that question on this question what is the max okay this mark sorry so mass is one mark and negative label is one is not important option number is at the alternative that is how many options so we have one two three four okay i hope you understand that so let's see the answer is to two decimal place will be what uh 0 0.07 0 0.07 right so i will let's say the correct answer is 0 0.57 that is the correct answer oh come on 0 0.0 0 0.57 good so 0 0.57 is the correct answer i can add another answer like 0 0.5 and i can also have 0 0.567 i can also add 0 0.6 okay and the correct answer is this one then you select the correct answer okay uh question order this is one this will be the order the arrangement order that is one okay so we are done i will just click add question add new question and it's successful and we can see it here and so you can add more questions okay if you want to ask subject let's come back here or let's go to the dashboard and you see we have uh subjects so here you can add all the subject that you'll be setting questions okay so here i can just add mathematics order subject order this is one uh, this one is already one so let me make this one two sorry okay it's two already so then i will add it see it has been added i can add science okay and then other number will be let's say three and i can also add that so that is all the where you'll be setting the questions okay if it's your questions will be on only mathematics then you add mathematics and that's it so that when you are to add the exams question you'll be able so let's go to exams again so right now if uh, if i want to edit let me go to questions good and here i can now select the question as mathematics okay and add it oh come on the other number i have okay this is like a new one so i don't have to go through the process again okay so far so good if you don't understand anything we have spent about uh that is uh an r so so far so good thank you for watching uh, as i said i will make a new video on this one and also school management system so watch out for our next video so that we have a complex system whereby you'll be able to manage all the students okay you see the school management system there's nothing like online exams okay and we have some of these uh, universities uh they have been writing uh online exams okay so we can also integrate that okay and watch out if you are if you are looking forward for that video just leave a comment and don't forget to share the video too let others also benefit from this video thank you for watching bye bye